Hello, 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 my beautiful boss slaymates. It's me, Aikinisha, your favorite boutique consultant. And as you all know, I did a poll on my Instagram around if you all wanted me to show you how I made these postcards that I'm going to be sending out to my VIP customers. So uh, I know the camera is small, but these are the ones that I'm talking about. Um, the window is kind of making them, you know, have a glare. So that was the front of one and then the back. And as you all can see, there's a little scratch off sticker there that I put there. And then the second one looks like this. And then there's the back. So, yeah, um, you all said that you all wanted me to make a YouTube video about it. Um, I'm not going to go into like a whole long Canva tutorial. I'm not going to do all of that. But I'm just going to show you how I made them. And, well, kind of, sort of. You'll see. And then um, I have a little bit of like a little bit of uh, like I was going to use these videos for like a TikTok slash reel. I might do that, but I'll include those videos here. So it'll just be me like getting them sent to me, getting them out of the mail, looking at them and then showing you how I got the scratch off sticker, this little scratch off part on it. So anywho, I went into Canva. So let me tell you all what I'm doing first. So I decided that instead of sending out an email about my new spring summer collection, I was like, look, I'm tired of email. I'm tired of social media. Like everybody does this. People still check their mail. <laughs> and if you have ordered from me before, or if you made a account on my website, then I have your address. So I was like, why don't I go through and find people who have made like, you know, big purchases, my regular VIPs, of course. And then maybe those who haven't really purchased from me in a long time, or maybe they made an account, but they never purchased something like that. And give them a little preview of like two items from my new collection or one item rather, which is what, you know, is up here. And then on the back, have a little scratch off part for them to see what they won. But it's four different things. So it's four different cards with four different prizes and four different codes. So you have to scratch it off to see what you won. And I do have an expiration date on it, all of that. So I haven't sent them off yet, but I have gone through my MailChimp and Shopify to see who I wanted to send these items, I'm sorry, these postcards to. So that is what I did. So I'm going to show you all how I decided, you know, how to make these. And I had started recording this or this whole process, but it took me so long because I'm so indecisive of making the postcards <laughs> that I stopped recording it way back then. So yeah, here we are. All right. So Canva, I do have Canva Pro for those of you all who don't know i have been using canva pro for years i've been using canva since 2017 so i have i know it in and out so when you get on canva what i did was i searched for postcard and that gave me the templates for all of these so that's what i did however i'm going to go back to the home i just wanted you all to see that so you all could see what i typed in so that way you would know you know, you already have the correct size. So if you go in and type in postcard, then you're fine. You're fine. So I did that. And then I went through and I went and looked through all the templates. Okay. So I'm going to go to mine. So as you can see, I have three different versions here. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So this one right here. Sorry, y'all. My phone keeps going off. All right, so what I did, I went through all the templates. Um, no, I'm sorry, I lied. I typed in fashion. That's what it was. I typed in fashion. There we go. And then I saw all of these. So every one that I liked, I just clicked it and put it on the screen. So that way I could see, you know, get some ideas. So that's what I did. So I clicked on a whole bunch of them. And then I just kept changing up some of the photos, some of them I, ch I changed, some of them I didn't. So as I went through that, I was like, okay, this is the one I actually landed on, I like decided on. 
And I was like, okay, this is cute. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one design and have four different codes. That was what my original plan was. So I like this one and I like that. And I was, so I made it and then I was like, mm, this is actually what I made. This was supposed to have been it right here. But, you know, I was like, the two photos are going to be different. And I was like, you know what? This looks too plain. My stuff is never plain. So I scrolled back through trying to see. And I was like, oh, I do like, well, this one didn't look like this at first. This was, uh, it had this kind of background on it, on this side. So I changed it because this is summer. I was like, okay, it's summertime. I think of palm trees, the beach, uh, bright colors, all of that when I think of summer and spring. So I said, let me find some palm trees or palm leaves or something like that. So that's when I went into the photos and I searched for right here, I searched for palm leaves and then purple palm leaves just to see which photos I like the most. And as you all can see, I landed on this particular photo. So that's the one that I put over the background of both of these. So then when I did that and I was like, okay, so it'll be a picture here of my girl and then it'll be a picture here. And I was like, okay, I like that. But I was like, I really want to use a photo of myself that I took. And then I also want to use a photo of one of my models that I just thought was gorgeous. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll do two designs. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and show you the other one that I did. So I made a copy and I went to this. So this is how it ended up again. So when I did that, I was like, that photo is going to be way too small. It's putting more emphasis on this, the words, than the photo. And then, of course, the purple wasn't going right. No matter what color I changed that to, and then I kept switching the palm leaves around. It just did not come out right. So I was like, okay, plain just looks better, but I don't want it to look that way. So then again, I made another copy. <laughs> and so I ended up with this. <clears throat> excuse me y'all I just ate all right so then I ended up with this I actually went through again um uh, what was I gonna say oh I went through again and looked through the photos of the palm leaves and this is what I found, that right there. So you can see all these different palm leaves. So you can see I chose this photo and that photo. So I put that back here. So I'm going to do that so you all can see what I did. I'm going to copy the text, though, just so I won't have to do all this over again. All right. So what I did was when I just add a page. So what you're going to do, you're going to drag this over. It may, and make sure you all don't click it. Because if you click it, it's not going to be the background of your photo. So you see, if I click it, it does that. If you drag and drop, it drops it. Next thing I did, I went into my uploads and I found the picture of me that I knew I for sure wanted to use. Where is it? Where is it? Did I scroll past it? Where the heck is it? Okay, I don't know where my picture is, y'all. <laughs> what in the world? Where is it? If y'all are watching this and I'm scrolling past it, don't laugh at me. Okay. I I do not see it. Like where where is <laughs> where is that picture? There's that one. Well, where is the other one? Okay, F it. Whatever. I'm I'm just gonna we I oh what in the hell? is going on and I can't upload it right now because I'm on my phone I, this is weird how is that picture not in here and I used it all right we just gonna use one and call it a day because obviously this ain't the real thing anyhow so I'm just gonna click one all right so when you click one and you decide what picture you want to use what I suggest you do is crop it down or cut it down to the part of you or the model that you want to use so just see how i'm just cropping it down like that then go to edit image and click on background remover again you will need canva pro in order to do some of the things that i'm doing you cannot do this on the free version if you can i do not know that i have not had a free version in about four or five years so i don't know 
but I'm almost positive you cannot remove backgrounds on the free version. All right, so as you can see now, background is removed. When you let it sit for a moment, it will not be blurry anymore. So you have to click off of it and then just wait a second. But yeah, see how it's changing for the sake of time. Let's go ahead. So then I just made it however large I wanted it to be. My butt looks amazing. I kind of like this. Okay. I want to show you all something too, because I've had some people ask me how I do this. So once you do this, if you hold on a second, my mom is calling me. Okay, sorry. So if you want it, there are two things you can do if you want the person to have like a little shadow, a highlight behind them. So the first thing you can do is you can make a copy, which will be duplicate. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to actually going to make three copies. So that way I can do the third thing. All right. So once you do that, you're going to go to one of them, click on edit image, and then you're going to go down until you see... You can do shadows if you would like, but I'm going to show you what I do. I go down to Duotone, I do see all, and then I look and see which one I like the most compared to the background. So let's see what pop looks like. Violet looks kind of cute. I might just do violet. Just Well, I don't know why I'm doing this as if, whatever. I've already made this, so I'm just going to let y'all see it. <laughs> all right, so we'll just do this one just because. So once I do that, I click off of it, then I will move the other copy over. Okay, hold on. I just hate when it does this. All right, there we go. So now we're going to move this over, bring it down some, make it a teeny bit smaller so it looks like a reflection or a copy, rather. It needs to be a little smaller. But you all get the idea. Like, you just have to play with it. You see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of playing with it just to, you know. It takes a minute, but um, that's how I do it if I wanted to have, like, an outline around it. Or I will, let me just stick this one off, put this back here. Or I will go to Edit Image, and I will do that shadow that we were just talking about. So I'll go down, I'll go down to all shadows. I'll see what this looks like as a glow. I don't know why it just did that, but okay. Now, if you know you want to use a specific one, you can click on the little filter part right here and you can change up everything. So if I want my glow to be like a red, see how it's now red around me and I can make the blur, change the size. You have to wait for it to load. So you see how it's loading. And then do it like that. Change the transparency up if I want it to be dark or if I want it to be lighter. Barely there. So that's what that is. Or that's how you can do that. It's two different ways you can do it. But the outline is more outlining. And then the one that I did is more like shadowy. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of depends on what you're trying to do. So let's say you don't like that and you go over to the drop. So you'll see how that looks. That's going to be more like on this bottom part here. You can't really see that with that color, so you need to go through here and change it just so you can see what it will look like. Let me do red again. But you can kind of see it on the side there. So that's what those shadows are. Um, but I didn't, obviously, if you all saw the other one that I did, I didn't do a shadow on, on that one. But I just wanted you all to see how that was. So then what I did, I added in text. I'm obviously not going to type in all of that stuff. Like, I mean, it was super simple what I did. I just added in the text that I wanted. And I just played with it until it looked like um, it was where I wanted it to be. Now, if you have something where, like, you know you want to use this color, you know you want to use this background, but the words are just not coming up, if you click on your background and click on Edit Image, if you make it darker or lighter, depending on... Hold on, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. You can do that here. So you see how I can make it darker. So now you can see the words a little bit better. So then once I did that, I went in here so I could see what it would look like up close. And you can see that. It's not a big deal. So I didn't, you know. Excuse me, y'all. Allergies. Jesus. All right. So that's literally all I did. And for the back part, this part right here, 
Um, I didn't have to do anything but add the picture and add my little codes and then, you know, change up. Well, add this wording. I added all of this myself because the back, if you all look at it, the back of these postcards, they already have the address part on the back. So like you'll see where, hold on, let me just go to something so you all can see it. Let me type in the fashion again, just so. All right. So you see how it says one of two. I see the second part. It has the address part. It's the back, basically. So it's showing you the back there. So that's how, you know, that was there. So I just changed up like the photo, added the text I needed, added my text here that I needed. I went into, if you go into photos and you search for Instagram, it will pull up all the logos. What is this Instagram logo? And you can find, oh, not photos, I apologize. Go into elements and type in Instagram. There we go. Then you can see all of these things that they offer. That looks like the Instagram logo. I did that and then I made that smaller and then I went in and typed in Pinterest, found that and put that there. Boom, super simple. Once you do that, click on share and then you're going to actually, nope, I lied, they changed it, it's over here. So you just click on print postcards, okay? When you click that, they're going to uh, ask you several questions. So I wanted them to be smaller, the one that, the size that it already is, the regular size of postcards. Obviously, I wanted it to be double sided. I wanted, you know, different backs. Um, so I had to do this for each card. So I would go through, for example, and click on page one and page two. So that's the front and then the back. Done. I left it on premium paper. I did the matte finish. I only needed 10 copies of each one because I'm only sending these to 40 people. So I did 10 copies of each one, $9.50. I did not need an envelope. This is a postcard. No envelopes needed. So literally, I only paid $9.50. <laughs> so you go to the continue. And it's going to ask you if you have any gaps or anything. It's showing you right there. See how the outline is here and the outline is here just telling you, hey, make sure you don't have anything outside of here that you need because it's not going to print or it's not going to look right. So you press continue there. It's asking you again about the danger zone. It's telling you again, go through and check this now. Here it is in red. And you're going to go through. You can download a proof if you want to, but I mean, you don't really need to do that. And then continue. And I did standard delivery five to eight business days, which was free. And... That was it, y'all. I literally paid $9.50 for each of my um postcard thingies and free shipping. And I got them fairly quickly. I can't remember how many days it took, but it didn't take me that long. So that's how I did that. So I'm going to let you all know how this went. Um, The discount codes do not expire, uh, expire until June 4th. So... I may not get orders or people using it up until then. So like I said, I will do an updated video to let you all know how it turned out. We will see, but this was just an experiment. Didn't cost me much, you know what I'm saying? I got these scratch off stickers, which are here. Sorry, y'all, I'm sitting in front of my window. So there they are, they're silver, silver scratch off stickers. And I just, you know, you just peel it off and take it off and stick it up there. I'm gonna include a video of uh, so it's, it's not going to be the right size because obviously it's meant for TikTok and instagram but i'm going to include a video so you all can see me like taking them off and putting it on a postcard so you can see that but um yeah i'm super excited for this i love how they turned out i mean they are gorgeous they are great quality they came quick 950 for 10 i mean amazing now i will tell you this the thing that i'm having a little bit of an um little conundrum about is getting the postage because I don't want to stamp on it. And you know, normally when you get post postcards from businesses, it says like, you know, postage paid for or something. It's like a little, you know, the type, the word is there. You know what I'm saying? Now, you could do that. What you could do is, if you're only ordering one design, I would have done this if I was not ordering one design. Being that I'm ordering, I'm sorry, being I'm ordering more than one design. Now, if you are doing one design, I suggest you download the PDF versions of your first page and your second page. Go over to Vistaprint and then go to postcards or mailers, mailings, something like that. 
they will actually include that with it. So they will send you your postcards made with the postage already on it paid for you. However, you have to order a minimum of 50. I, like I said, I'm only sending them to 40 people, but I'm sending them different things. So it's four different groups of people that I'm sending them to because it's four different groups are going to get four different types of discounts from me. Or, you know, like some people are getting free items, some people are getting discounts. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only reason. But I'm going to do this again, but I'm only going to do it with one design and test it out with Vistaprint just so I can see, you know, how that works. I do have a family friend who works at the post office. She's been there for like 20 something years. So I'm going to go and she works at the one down the street from my house. So I'm going to go ask her about this. Cairo is coming in. So I'm going to end the video here because Cairo is coming. And be sure to keep watching because I'm going to include the videos so you all can see me getting them, you know, at the mailbox and sticking the little stickers on them and all that fun stuff. Okay. All right, you guys. So like I said, keep watching. The video is not ending, but I will see you all in the next video. Okay. Bye.